my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And if you're new here, hello, my name is Ashley. I run things here at Oak Crowgal. Normally when I'm standing in this spot, we are about to talk about groceries, but today we are talking about all the bath and all the body. I'm bringing you a Bath and Body Works haul. Oh man, haul. If there was ever an appropriate time to use the word haul, it's here. It's here and it's now. Um, <laughs> there, I'm looking, I'm looking at it. There's a, there's a lot of items here. Uh, I, I, I'm also looking over there in disdain. Uh, normally I film like these sit down videos, whatever they may be. Um, I say sit down, although I'm standing currently, but y'all know what I mean. Um, videos where I'm doing favorites or empties or hauls or anything. I film them in at my table, like my dining table. I'm so, I'm so, so sick of that filming spot. Um, I've been trying to film a handful of videos in my bedroom, but the lighting's not great in there right now. So here we are in the kitchen. The lighting is good, I'm comfortable. So um, this is where we're going to film today. Okay, this haul has quite quite the tail, so <laughs> let me tell it. Because this, this haul, this was three separate orders. So the first order I placed because they were having their semi-annual sale. Bath and Body, Body Works was having their semi-annual sale, which by the time you see this video, that sale will be over. Um, they were having their, their sale. I found a handful of things I wanted, I bought them. Well then, uh, a while later, and by a while I mean like a couple weeks later, they put all their aromatherapy on sale, which is what we are stands of over here. We, I love all the aromatherapy products and I think it's only twice a year that the aromatherapy bath products go on sale. So we, that was like the bulk of our, of the three orders, that one is, is the heftiest um, because it was just too good of a deal to pass up, pass up. And if you've seen any of my empties videos, you know we fly through that bubble bath. So that was the second order that I placed. Then I went to go grab a hand soap from like my hand soap bin that I have under my sink and it was the last one that we had. Uh, and then of course, subsequently a couple days later, all the soaps went on sale. So there's really only a handful of things I actually got from the semi-annual sale. The majority of this haul was just sale stuff in general, but not semi-annual sale items. Okay, so let's start with that first initial order um, where I purchased purchased all things that were on sale because of the semi-annual sale. Um, so I only got one candle because I am not a food candle fan and those that was like what most of the candles were. Um, it's just not my jam, I just don't care for them. So there was only one that, that piqued my interest. This is the Raspberry Tangerine candle. How beautiful is this like vessel, this packaging, this container that the candle comes in. It's so pretty. It smells so good. It's sweet, but it's fresh, which I really like. There are notes of raspberries, tangerine, and then lemon zest. Oh, it's a perfect, it's a perfect summer candle. So this was the only candle I got. And then I stocked up on my f most favorite Bath and Body Works scent to wear. So not to like <laughs> sit in a tub full of its bubbles um, <laughs> or wash my hands with, but to actually wear on my body. This is hands down my favorite Bath and Body Works scent. This is the Lillian Green Tea. This in particular is the lotion. I bought two of them. I purchased this scent last year and if I would have known that they were gonna do away with it, I probably would have stocked up. I wouldn't have gone crazy, but I would have stocked up a little bit more. It smells expensive. It's And by smells expensive, I, I, I don't mean like I smell rich. Like I just mean a lot of Bath and Body Works scents to me smell cheap, especially when it comes to wearing them on the body. This smells expensive. There's this dynamic going on with like the lily and it's kind, it's like a, like a kind of more decadent floral scent that combined with the freshness of the green tea, it's, it just is out of this world. It's fresh, but it still has this like kind of um, like higher end perfume vibe to it. So when I saw this was in the semi-annual sale, my jaw dropped because I hunted high and low for any remaining anything, lotions, body sprays, what have you, um, when I found out they weren't gonna be carrying it anymore last year. And I came up with, I had no luck. So I bought two of the lotions. I bought a sh one shower gel. I have a shower gel of this in my shower right now. Um, and I, I probably have about that much left. So I got one shower gel and then I picked up one of the fine fragrance mists. I have one of these right now actually. Um, 
with all of my all of my perfume and I probably have about that much left to go before I bust this one open. This doesn't smell like a fragrance mist. It doesn't smell like a body splash. It smells like a perfume, especially layering all of the, the products, the shower gel, the lotion, the mist. I love it. If Take a peek. I don't know. Take a peek on the site. I know the sale will be over, but just take a peek. See if they still have it. I'm not, I'm not I, I would never steer you wrong when it comes to a legit scent from Bath and Body Works. So that was order number one. Like I said, then we found out they're having this huge aromatherapy sale. The aromatherapy um, foam bath and body washes are normally 13, yeah, 13.50. They were on sale for 6.50. Uh, again, I'm fairly certain that only happens twice a year unless they're discontinuing a certain like aromatherapy um, scent. So we 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 stocked up. Uh, I got one of the vanilla and patchouli. I love this one. It's a very um, like rich. It's vanilla, but then also has kind of that musk scent. Love it. Then I got this one. This is a new one for me. It's the Revive. Um, Brazilian orange, mandarin, and guava. So it's Brazilian orange oil, mandarin oil, and guava extract. And then Daisy's favorite. She has this hand wash in her bathroom right now. This is the eucalyptus tea. The stress relief one. You get the freshness of the eucalyptus and then the tea kind of gives it a sweeter scent. Really like this one. We got uh, just tried and true favorite. This is the sleep one, the lavender and vanilla. So it's lavender oil and vanilla absolute. I picked up two of these ones, the uh, balance juniper and coriander. This is a newer one to the aromatherapy line and we've really been liking it. It leans, um, a little more like cologne-ish to me than, than like a perfume. It definitely smells like a man's cologne, but I use it and really like it. This is a new favorite too. This is the Hawaiian Sandalwood Eucalyptus and Mandarin. Y'all know I get down with anything that has sandalwood, birchwood, anything like that I'm, I'm a fan of. This is really nice because it does kind of have like a, um, Plumeria, Hawaiian citrus type vibe, and but then you also get the sandalwood. It's 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 a winner. And then this is the last one we picked up. This is the Sleep um, Black Chamomile. So this one is chamomile oil and bergamot. This is definitely a stronger scent, um, but we love it. I mean, clearly. <laughs> We love aromatherapy. I love the aromatherapy scents. I've said it so many times in empties videos um, because we go through these pretty quickly, but they just don't, they just smell like you paid more than you did for them. And that you can see like that's kind of like a running theme with me um, because I'm not, I'm not the biggest fan of most of Bath & Body Works scents. Um, I think candles and then like products that you put on your body, those are two different things. Um, it's easier for me to find a candle that I want to burn, um, you know, over like a body wash that I want to use. And I just think the aromatherapy line is like just killing it at Bath and Body. All right, and lastly, the soaps. Let's just continue the aromatherapy theme, shall we? Because I picked up uh, quite a few aromatherapy soaps. These were, again, on sale. These were $4.33 a piece. I picked up the Eucalyptus Spearmint the eucalyptus tea the orange ginger the orange ginger is my least favorite um aromatherapy scent i don't mind it in a hand wash but we like very rarely buy the um the foam bath of it and then the sleep black chamomile and bergamot and then i got just a vanilla coconut i love the packaging on this one it's so cute the vanilla coconut Y'all know we're here for the coconut and the cactus blossom, which the cactus blossom is one of my favorite um, candles. So six hand soaps, four bucks and 30 cents a piece, the 650 um, aromatherapy stuff. And then the things that I got in the semi-annual sale, like I definitely spent a hefty amount. I'm not used to spending that much at Bath and Body Works, but for the prices in which I got these items, uh, I'm very happy with everything. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And drop me a comment down below. What are your guys' favorite scents? Are you kind of like me where you're a little more picky in particular when it comes to body scents than you are with candles? Let me know. 
and I believe this video is going to be going up on Wednesday. Um, it's going to be going up on Wednesday. On Monday, I will be back to regular programming. Um, but I have to kind of put through, you know, throw some of these um, random non non food related, non grocery haul type videos in here while I'm on my staycation. But come Monday, we will be back to business. All right, friends, I will see you when I see you. Bye.